that I am not asking for money. I've never asked for donations, and I'm not going to begin now, because I don't want people thinking, oh, he's just doing this to make money. Mm -mm. I'm asking for a camera. It's exciting. Uh, we got a chat room, we got a message board, we got a frequently asked questions section. And for those of you who wanted to support my ministry and donate a little, um, you can do that as well. So. That means I only need a dollar from 500 of you. 500 of you just need to support what I do, support the idea of getting me out from behind the cash register and into the world to preach the gospel full time, you know, by just sending me a dollar a month. 500 of you. But seriously, the last clip you saw came from his latest video. In it, he makes what is for him a remarkably unambiguous statement. Here it is. As soon as I hit 500, okay, then anything above and beyond that I'm going to put towards Sick Kids Hospital. In fact, I think that'll be my policy um, if this indeed turns out to be a, an idea that'll go on. Every month that I earn over 500 a month, 500 will be put towards, you know, my own savings. But anything over and above that, I'll put towards charity. I fail to see how that statement can be interpreted in any other way than this. If, between the 1st of April, when he posted the video, and the 30th of April, he obtained more than $500 in donations, then he would donate the excess to the charity that he named. But this is Venom we're talking about. On the following day, the 2nd of April, the following annotation was added. The amount of supporters is proportional to the amount counted. Additional funds put in savings for next month as requested. Now I know that he has described me as an intellectual dwarf, but I've reread that sentence many times, and to me it simply does not make any sense whatsoever. So far as the request is concerned, I presume he's talking about a comment that was left on the video after about a day. This is the message. It reads as follows. I know you said you were going to donate anything over $500, but why not save the money to go towards the next month? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If people wanted to donate to something else, they could do that on their own. They donated to you. We know you're not going to blow the money, so why not just save anything over your goal for the next month? Hopefully people will be just as generous next month and the next, but you don't know. So please save anything over the $500. On the same day, the 2nd of April, the following annotation was added by him at the end of his video. Donations exceeding $1 are only counted as $1. The objective is to create a group of donators per month. Any additional money is counted towards the next month and so on. Once there are 500 supporters, additional money goes to the charity as promised. This, to me, can only be read to mean that the donations of the first 500 people are only counted as being $500, even if, as we know, they do donate more. If the average donation of his first 500 donators is, let's say, $5, Venom will receive $2,500 
before he is obliged to donate a cent to charity. We seem to have come a long way from this statement. Every month that I earn over 500 a month, 500 will be put towards you know, my own savings, but anything over and above that I'll put towards charity. If you go to his website from where donations are made, you'll see a rather laughable attempt by him to justify what he's doing. In his explanation, he includes this statement. If somebody sends me $10, should I keep $1 and donate the other 9 You can see the difficulty. Well, Venom, I see no difficulty whatsoever with you complying by the original statement that you made in your video. I think that if you're going to beg for money, using the offer of donations to a children's hospital as a leverage, you owe a duty to be honest. So here is my challenge to you. Firstly, stop referring to donations as earnings. Earn and earnings imply remuneration from employment. You are not earning anything, you are begging. Secondly, stick to what you initially said you would do and give all the money over $500 to the charity you named. Thirdly, provide evidence of the money that you've donated. Fourthly, you say on your website, a percentage is donated to churches of my choice. Please provide evidence of any donations you've made to a church. If you seek to rely on the generosity and kindness of others, then in my view, you owe it to them to be honest with them. So Venom, will you do it?